So today we're going to talk about activity-induced heat. The heat that your body produces when you work out in high-intensity situations. So I'm not talking about just walking down the street, but when you're doing something like hot yoga or you're doing peloton or spin, when we take these things that we do with very short bursts of activity that heat the body up to these very high levels and cause these sort of heat spikes in the body, we're actually replicating in the body the same kind of heat exposure that you get if you're in the desert or you're sitting in the sun unprotected for hours letting your body sort of heat up. And then the way that your body deals with that heat is through an inflammatory response. So basically we get inflammation that begins to break down how the immune system of our cells works to protect us. So we're taking the same thing that protects us on the outside, heating it up to this high level. Remember, the body's heated and cooled through the skin. So it's the skin that controls the air conditioning or the heating of your body. So we want those mechanisms to work properly. So what we're doing with skin suit is we're putting a, co a mineral, that, a, a coated mineral substance. Sort of think about it like a titanium shield over the skin. And when that heat wants to gear up and cause that inflammatory response, what happens is skin suit goes in and neutralizes or quenches that free radical response to keep that inflammatory response from happening. So we're not keeping you from heating up. We're not keeping you from sweating. What we're doing is deterring the damage that occurs as a result of that. So I really encourage you to suit up. That way you can go and be as active as you want and spike it up all you want, but be protected so that your skin stays looking amazing and performs the protective mechanisms that it does so well.